All right, guys, so let's get into this one really quickly. Post-fight reaction to the main event tonight on Showtime. Uh, we had the return of Jerron Boos Ennis, the WBO interim champion, defending his interim title against the hard-hitting Roman Vila. Now, let me say this. Jerron Boots Ennis is the new boogeyman at 147. He's the new boogeyman at 147. Uh, I want to congratulate him on his win tonight, uh, improving his record to 31-0, stopping Roman Vila in the 10th round. Uh, the first time this guy has ever been stopped, guys. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, but Jerron Boos Ennis did do it tonight, and he put on a spectacular performance. Uh, I'll say this. I was a little bit disillusioned with Jerron Boos Ennis in his last fight with uh, Karen Chukazan. Uh, I thought he was lacking in defense, but tonight uh, he put it all together tonight, guys. Everything looked great uh, coming from Jerron Boos Ennis. Uh, the, the footwork. The switching back and forth between righty and lefty. Although he fought, I think, uh, most of the fight in the southpaw position, uh, he did switch at times. Uh, the combination punching, the power jab, he just has an awesome jab. Uh, going to the body tonight on Roman Vila, uh, using head movement, uh, just being defensively responsible. Uh, he looked like a complete fighter tonight, and he dominated the entire fight. Uh, stopping Roman Vila in the 10th round. Uh, I think it was a it was a straight left and then he threw a right hook and Roman Vila just, you know, fell into the ropes, guys. Uh, just crazy to see. Uh, first of all, let me say this. Roman Vila, I, I, I do want to give him his props. Uh, he is a tough, tough kid. Uh, he weathered that storm as long as he could. He took a lot of punishment in the fight tonight. I think the problem with Vila was, you know, the, the lack of a jab, uh, not being able to fight going backwards, not moving his head, just, you know, taking a lot of punishment. He was taking a lot of punishment to, to give punishment, but, you know, over time, that accumulation of shots uh, coming from Jerron Boos, and it's just proved to be too much for him. And, uh, like I said, he put up a good performance, so hats off to that kid. I'm sure he'll be back. You know, he's a tough guy, tough competitor, and uh, I, I, I think he has a bright future. But Jerron Boos Ennis, guys, uh, proved tonight that he is the real deal. Uh, he's the real boogeyman of the 147-pound division, and I can't wait to see what happens uh, after you know, the Errol Spence Jr. Terrence Bud Crawford fight, uh, what type of fights we can get made at 147 once these guys uh, leave the division. Now, after the fight, Jerron did call out, you know, a lot of different fighters. You know, he called out all the guys at 147, basically. He called out Keith Thurman. He called out Ugas. Uh, he called out the winner of Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Bud Crawford. He called out Stanley Onis. And honestly, I think that's the fight he should be looking at next, uh, even though uh, the stuff with Virgil Ortiz, you know, pulling out of the fight went down. I think it was the third time now uh, he fainted in training camp. So uh, I think he should go after that Stanionis fight. Uh, Stanionis is the WBA regular champion, if I'm not mistaken. Why not go after a title? Uh, I know uh, a fight with Keith Thurman would be big. Uh, Keith Thurman is still a big name uh, in the 147-pound division. He's only lost once. Uh, I think that would be a great fight. But I think if I'm Jerron, I'd go after that title first. But uh, we're going to see what happens uh, with Jerron Boos Ennis. I think he has a bright future at 147. Uh People are really going to be afraid to get in a ring with him after the performance he put on tonight uh, fighting a tough guy like Vila. I knew this was going to be a tough fight uh, watching what Vila did uh, with uh, Rashidi Ellis. Uh, both of these guys I thought were tailor made for each other. But like I say, like I usually say, uh, skills do pay the bills. The guy with the, the better skill set is going to be the guy that's most likely wins the fight and that's how it went down tonight, guys. Jerron's boots in is successful, uh, stopping Roman Vila in the 10th round. Uh, you guys tell me how you feel about the fight tonight. Who do you think Jerron boots in is to fight next? Let me know in the comment section, guys. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.